Now we're going to talk about a horizontal curve example. Here we're given a horizontal alignment that connects two tangent highway sections. The design speed for this curve is 70 miles per hour. The super elevation is 0 0.1 feet per foot. The road has two 12 foot lanes, one in each direction, and the PI is at station 485 plus 66. So the requirements for this problem are to finish drawing the picture, labeling all points and curve features, to determine the stationing of the PT, and to determine the distance that would need to be cleared to provide adequate stopping distance around this curve. So a couple things to remember about horizontal curves are that the curve is a circular curve and that the stationing follows the curve, not the tangent. So here I've drawn uh, most of the picture. So we're told that the offset angle is 60 degrees. So I've just drawn in the radii, um, labeled the curve radius from the center point to the center line. So the line that's shown there is the center line of the two lane roadway. So that's pretty much the picture. All the, the two tangents are labeled and we can so now we can move forward. I've also labeled R sub V, which is the red dashed line, which is representing the center of the innermost lane. So that's approximately the location of the driver's eye when going around the curve. So this is also something that sometimes people get confused about. R sub V. So now we can perform a few calculations. First, we look at our table for a stopping site distance which includes the minimum radius using particular super elevation and friction factors. So if we look at uh, 70 miles per hour down at the bottom uh, for a super elevation of 10%, which is our situation, we can see that the design radius of the curve is 1,630 feet. So we've listed uh, R sub V here. So that design curve is for the driver's eye. So in our case, the actual radius of the center line is going to be six feet more. So we add six feet, which is the width of the lane over two. 1,636 feet is the value of R. We're told that uh, delta is 60, so we can calculate the length of the tangent, which is just R times the tangent of delta over two, or 1,636 times the tangent of 30 degrees. So you can uh, determine what the tangent of 30 is, multiply by 1636, and you obtain a tangent length of 944.55 feet. So that's the length uh, from the, the PC to the PI, and then also from the PI to the P -P PT along the dashed uh, black tangent line. So next we can calculate the length of the curve. So the length of the curve is this black curve um, along here. And that is pi over 180 times r times delta. So that's pi over 180 times 1636 times 60, or 1713.22 feet. So that's the length along the curve. So we have um, the station of the pi. So in order to get the station of the pc, we just go backwards in this direction, the tangent length. So we subtract the tangent length 944.55 from the station of the PI and we obtain the PC stationing which is 476 plus 21.45 and then to get the PT we go forward along the curve with the length of the curve so we take the PC station um, and we add the curve length to obtain 493 plus 34.67 and the last part of the question is to determine the, um, the amount that needs to be cleared. Um, so what we want to do is use our equation m sub s, and that is equal to r sub v times 1 minus the cosine of 90 times the stopping site distance divided by pi times rv. In this case, r sub v, as we saw before, is 1630. The SSD from the table is 730 feet, and 
All we need to do is perform this calculation and we obtain the distance of 40.7 feet. And so that's from the driver's eye. So it's more typical to um, subtract uh, 6 feet. So that should be minus 6 feet. So the distance from the edge of the road that needs to be cleared in this area here along this curve uh, is 34.7 feet. So that's it. Thanks for your attention.